Hi friends, welcome back. Today's video is going to be focused on the work that I've done so far on our powder room. To be honest, I've been sitting on this footage for a really long time. I've just been unsure of how I want to put the footage that I've been collecting of me working on it. I was unsure of whether it was even worth putting out there, especially since I feel like there's still so much more that I want to do to this room before I feel satisfied with it. But at the same time, so much work has already gone into updating this room and I'm proud of the work that I've done. And I felt like this was something that I would really enjoy looking back on one day. So here we are. For starters, the room was quite plain. Honestly, I hadn't really done anything to it since we moved in. It's the same gray white color that our whole home was actually painted in. And I went through several iterations of design inspo and um, different ideas. Like at one point I had wanted to wallpaper the entire room, including the ceiling until I started costing that out and realizing how much that was going to cost. And so uh, over time, I slowly adjusted my expectations for what I could realistically afford and what would make the most sense given my experience level and budget. So I decided to paint the entire room in a gorgeous green color that I had originally been considering for our kitchen cabinets. It is called uh, Bansha or Bansha by Pharaoh and Ball, and it, it's this gorgeous matcha green tea color, and I, I love it so much. I had just been waiting for the right room to use it in, and finally decided that since the powder room was a contained room that was relatively small, this would be the perfect candidate. And if it were up to me, I would have removed the toilet and the sink because trying to maneuver myself around those things to tape, prime, and paint was a challenge. Not one that I would readily do again, even though there are plans to paint the main bathroom in the future, so... I don't know, maybe I'll do something about that in the future. But anyway, I started out by painting the trim, uh, priming, sorry, I started out by priming the entire room. And then I worked on the walls first. Uh, I did two coats of the regular emulsion. And then I went over all of the trim, including the door, with a different finish of paint. I think it was called a state eggshell. Um, and I went over all of the trim with that at the recommendation of the paint store. So it was helpful that it was the same color, but it was a little annoying getting the paint on all of the trim. So uh, please enjoy this footage of me pulling off the tape. I don't know if there's anything more satisfying than finishing a painting project and pulling off the tape. The light was also something that was quite a journey. I spent months, 
possibly years trying to source a secondhand light off Facebook Marketplace or visiting different thrift stores, but I didn't, I wasn't able to find anything that really stood out to me. So I eventually stumbled on this gorgeous brass light from Etsy and must have kept it in my cart for another three to six months before I finally decided to purchase it. I did need to get help from my dad to install it. And unfortunately, when we removed the original light, we realized that the wall had this giant hole that the new light wasn't going to cover. And so it actually took several hours to figure out a solution um, by watching lots of YouTube. (laughs) But essentially, we installed a scrap piece of wood behind the wall to add an extra anchor to screw the light fixture into. And then I picked up some wall patches that are specifically made for filling up bigger holes like the one you see here. And then I spackled over it and eventually painted it. It was definitely a labor of love. Um, It took many days and a lot of patience, but I love the light. So I would say it was worth it. And then after we installed the light, I really started to run out of energy for finishing the bathroom. So I focused on a few smaller touches like painting the ceiling fan the same color as the rest of the room. I spent months trying to find a towel rack and toilet roll holder that I liked enough to replace the standard ones that came with our home when we moved in. I knew I was going to want to change them, so when I decided to paint our powder room, I just removed them and figured the act of removing them would force me to make a decision, but I just couldn't find anything that I liked. I I did get close to this beautiful um, brass set on Etsy, but it was so expensive to buy new and it just did not feel worth the price tag. Um, I tried to wait it out and see if there would be a sale or something that might make it worth it. I never got that lucky. And so um, I just decided to hold off entirely and live with the inconvenience of not having a proper toilet roll holder. I came up with an idea for the towel rack. It's not nearly as pretty as the original one that I had been eyeing, but I basically took an old Ikea spice rack that we had lying around, stained it in a dark wood color, and then added an old Pax wardrobe handle that I had saved from when we moved from our last apartment, and ended up turning it into a really cute little hand towel rack, and the benefit of installing it upside down is that now there's an extra shelf to store other things there. So um, it was kind of a happy accident. In my mind, I was thinking it would be temporary because at least I didn't have to spend any additional money to put this together. And two holes I can patch up. So I say it's temporary, but who knows? Maybe it'll be just what it is. And that was basically it. So um, future plans, I had wanted to add some wall moldings in the lower third of the room. And I wanted to put up a couple of art pieces or paintings. So it's not done, but it's done for now because there are some other rooms that I want to give attention to in our home. And so at some point I'll be putting together a part two of the powder room, but probably not anytime soon. So 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little recap of the work that I've done so far in our powder room. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.